Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the 2024 GMC Canyon AT4X. This specific truck is also equipped with the AEV Special Edition package. It's finished off in sterling metallic and that MSRP is just over $67,000. Now this Canyon is powered by the 2.7 liter inline four cylinder turbo. It's paired to the eight speed automatic, pumping out 310 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque. That power is primarily sent to the rear wheels. However, this truck has the four wheel drive system. It weighs in right around 4,900 pounds. Zero to 60 is going to be six and a half seconds with a top speed of 98 miles an hour. It also has a fuel capacity of 21.4 gallons, You'll expect to see around 17 miles per gallon in both the city and the highway. This has a wheelbase of 131 inches. Its overall length is 213.2. It has a width of 84.4, a height of 81.6. Its ground clearance measures in at 10.7 inches. And it also has an approach angle of 38.2 degrees, a breakover angle of 26.9, and a departure angle of 26 degrees. Now, as we work our way to the exterior styling, let's start off with what's included in the AEV package. So there's multiple skid plates underneath. This has a steel front and rear bumper. The fender flares are a part of that package. There's also the spare tire in the bed, which we'll come back to, and the 17 inch beadlock capable wheels and the 35 inch tires and all of the badging. So there's quite a lot for that $10,000 package. Now, as we work our way to the front, You'll notice GMC is very bold in the grill with the red and chrome finish. There's also a forward facing camera to give you a much more visibility, especially when you are off the pavement. There's the AT4X badge and then a really cool brush design running through the entire front grill. You'll notice too, it has pretty boxy design to it, but I think it looks really good for this front end. Now this also has a set of LED headlights, DRLs and turn signals. You'll notice that the headlights are in the lower section and then the upper section, there's the turn signal and the DRL and that actually splits into that lower housing as well. Now there's fog lights in the lower section of the steel bumper. There's also two red tow hooks. You'll notice one of the skid plates there. And then some really nice lines and bulges that come down the hood. So it mimics some of its larger siblings with this front end design, but gives it a bold look. Now with this steel front bumper, it also gives you that really good approach angle where you can also get a peek at that Multimatic suspension. So this truck does have a slight lift to it. It's around two inches or so. Now this also has rock sliders in the lower section there. Side mirrors have the gloss black mirror cap. They also have a camera. There's no turn signal. So just that camera for that 360 system. There's a sunroof up top. All of the window trim is blacked out as well. And this is the crew cab. So we have the full four doors as well as the short box for this particular model. Really nice lines that run down the side as well, including all of the angular lines on the side of this bed to give it a great look. Now in back, there's the side exit exhaust, a little bit of a high clearance design for it. We have that steel bumper with all the parking sensors. This can even tow right around 7,700 pounds. I'd be interested to see how well it can do with that four cylinder with that much weight. I would assume maybe five to 6,000 pounds is going to be a little bit more comfortable. Now GMC Canyon is also in the tailgate. There's a backup camera with the locking tailgate handle there. And then there's also the tail lights on both sides. But as we work our way to the tailgate now, there's no button on the key fob. So you only have the one way to do it. Really neat pattern on the top of the tailgate. And then you'll notice too that this truck also has some additional storage. I think this is a really good idea. You can place some smaller items in there. It's not a large storage bin, but it is nice to have that additional amount of space. And then for the bed liner, it does have a spray in bed liner. There's also tie down hooks. There's a power outlet, which is a part of that package. And then the full size spare is also mounted in the bed. Obviously, if you don't get this package, you won't have that. So you get a little bit more interior space. Tailgate is also very lightweight to close. And this truck also has remote start. So if we lock it and double tap this, we can start it up. And then if you just hold on it, we can shut it off. So nice to see that feature. Now, as we work our way to the interior, the door panel is a nice design to it with all the red stitching, the two tone with the white and the black, a little bit of storage in the lower section there, as well as more of the stitching in that upper section. And then we have the leather seats with the two-tone design. So the white, red, 
and against three-tone with that black and all of the stitching. Now there is storage up underneath the seats. Just pull on this tab here. You do need two hands to do that. And you'll notice that you have a little bit of storage to place in any items that you need to. There is no storage behind the seats. So it's nice that you have that for this truck. Now there's grab handles in the back. So they're up top on the roof. And we do have the rock slider, which you could use as a step if you needed to, to get into the back of this truck. Now at five foot 10, I think I have a good amount of space. We have storage pockets. We also have cup holders, area where you can place your phone, and one of the few mid-sized trucks that offers climate vents for the rear. There's auxiliaries and one in the lower section there. And then at my height, I have about inch, inch and a half or so of headroom here. Pretty comfortable. These seats are upright. So for a mid-sized truck, it's kind of what you would expect, but I could ride around in the back and be pretty comfortable around town. Now, right in the middle, there is an armrest. You have two cup holders. One thing that I will knock this truck for, this is a manual sliding rear glass. For the price, I think that this should be uh, power operated, but you do have that window if you need to use it. And as we work our way to the front, we have the control to lock and unlock this truck. And then a similar design as in back. However, you have a little bit more storage in the middle of that door. This also has memory seating adjustments, all of the window controls, as well as the side mirror adjustments. And then we do get power operated front seats. AEV is up in the headrest, along with AT4X down on that side bolster. And same deal for the front. However, you don't have a grab handle for your driver. You do get one for your passenger over there. So you could just grab the steering wheel, use that step and hop on up. Now this has a solid leather steering wheel with all of the red accents. Pretty cool graphic once you hop in there with GMC. But on this left side, we have all the cruise control settings along with distance pacing. Right side, you have music along with your Bluetooth, voice commands, heated steering wheel, and then you have some audio adjustments and some controls for that gauge cluster there. But let's start this back up. This also has power and, or volume and tuning on the back side of the steering wheel. So it still retains those controls, which is nice. And now looking at the digital gauge cluster for this current setup, you'll notice miles per hour and fuel on the left side, tack and engine temperature on the right, and then there's some vitals within the middle. Now, if you use that control over on the right side of the steering wheel, push on it once, and now we can pull the navigation up in full screen with miles per hour on that left side. We can go into a different page where there's your G-force meter. You can look at what gear you're in, tack is in the upper section. If we go one more time, you can go to an off-road page, basically. So you have pitch and roll, steering angle, your transfer case, and a compass on that one side. And then we also have another one with distance pacing right in the middle, and a calm screen with just miles per hour. So it's nice that you have all of these, along with being able to see your music there, just depending on what you need to see for the day. Now on this left side, there's a trailer braking system down below, along with a dimmer switch, red accents that surround the air vents there, this also has a head-up display, which just shows your miles per hour and the speed limit sign. Bose audio is also for this truck here. And then taking a look at the infotainment system, we have a physical button for power and volume. And then we have shortcuts over on this left side. So this is how you can actually get into your headlight adjustments, your downhill assist. You have your window controls. Here's the head-up display adjustments, and you even have the camera system. So let's take a look at this, where you have multiple different angles just depending on what you need to see. You can, when you have the trailer hooked up too, you can even look at those angles and you have some additional angles here that you can pull up as needed. Even ones that are underneath the truck, which is pretty neat to see. They are a little dirty at the moment there. Now you do have some additional controls like your lighting that you can get into as well as your drive and park settings. Now you do have a shortcut to your phone. You can get into the navigation, there's music, you also have a split screen here where you can look at your music and the nav, and then you have the home button where you can get through the rest of these icons. So this tr truck is equipped with the air down mode, so you can use the horn of the vehicle. It will tell you once the tires have reached that desired PSI. You can also go into a few off-road settings as well. So that way you can view these as needed. Pretty easy to go through that system. And what I love about it is that we have physical buttons in the lower section. They're laid out extremely well. These are for your heated and ventilated seats, all of your climate adjustments and defrosters, and then physical dials for temperatures on both sides. Really nice combo between the touch screen and the physical controls. Now there's air vents underneath that. This truck is also equipped with a rear locker. You can do front and rear at the same time. There's the engine start stop, 
hazards and lane keeping assist. You have an auxiliary, so this is for all of the power outlets. And then this control here will put all of the windows down with the push of one button. Now what I really wish it did is that you could put all of them up at the same time. So it's just for putting them down, then you do have to put all four up individually. Now there's wireless charging down below with some more auxiliaries. And then with this in reverse, we have that backup camera like you just saw. And then we can also go into the forward facing camera as well. So you can go through all these angles up front, just depending on what you need to see. There's also a low range gear, so you can shift using plus and minus. Now this control here is for your four wheel drive, so you can monitor that. And then you can also rotate the dial to go between the different modes. So there's off-road, tow and haul, there's terrain, you have an off-road setting where you have to be in four high, and then we're back to the tow and haul. There's also Baja as well, so you can use that as needed. Now there's the e-brake behind that. You have two cup holders with an area for your phone, a little bit of storage. You do have this removable tray so you can place in larger items. And then the glove box also has a good amount of space. And then we have a really nice design on that passenger side. Now up top, this has a rear view mirror. That is your view with the spare tire. So it does hinder this a lot, I think. It would be nice to have the camera system, maybe a shark fin on the roof with that camera system so you could see around that if you choose to get this truck with that package. So it does limit your visibility. It's been a little bit tricky, but you can work around it with that there. And then up top, we do have controls for the sunroof. So we have the manual adjusting sunshade and then the sunroof there, of course. And aside from that tire right there, it is pretty easy to see around in general. If you don't have that tire, obviously that's a little bit easier to see, but with the tire, you can still see around as needed. As we set off now behind the wheel for this GMC Canyon, this has been a really cool truck to have for the week. Let's start off with the cost for this midsize truck at $67,000. Yes, that's a lot of money for a midsize truck. It's a lot of money for a pickup truck with a four cylinder engine. We made two videos while we took this off the pavement talking about the four cylinder. So make sure you take a look at those videos. Personally, I don't see any issues with this engine. We have a lot more get up and go with the torque offered versus the outgoing V6 models. Uh, we still have a similar MPG, we still have similar towing, so not a whole lot of benefits for it. However, it's still just as capable as the V6. So check out those separate videos where we go into a lot more details on that. But for the cost, you can get into an AT4 or a lower trim level for about $45,000 or so. But if you're not looking to do all of these mods and you want this truck as is, especially with a factory warranty covering everything that's on this truck, I can see the appeal to just buying it and having it ready to go. So I think it's a really cool truck with what it has for the price. It's been great to drive as well. This Multimatic suspension is one of the smoothest in any truck that I've driven, both on-road and off-road. It's a really great suspension for this. And I like the materials. We still do have some plastic. For the price, I would like to see something a little bit different, but it seems that most of the mid-sized trucks have plastic of some kind for the interior. So you can't really knock it since that's kind of what everyone has for their trucks. But this GMC has been really nice. I like the technology, very easy to use. It's been so quiet and comfortable. These seats are great too. I really have nothing bad to say about it. It's been great on road. And again, take a look at off-roading this truck because as is, I mean, this could do everything that we threw at it. So check out the trail that we went through and what we did. Camera systems are fantastic as well. So honestly, they're just as good for parking lot situations, but extremely beneficial when you are off the pavement. So you have a pretty well-rounded truck. If you're not looking for a full size, I'm not a full size truck person at the moment. I really like the mid-size platform, especially for off-roading. It's a lot more nimble. So, I mean, it's it's it gives you a really good blend of on-road, off-road, and the capabilities to tow and still use the bed. And with a mile acceleration, here we go. And we're up to speed. I will say the amount of torque that this truck has definitely gives you a lot more of that low end power that you need. So you don't necessarily have to give this truck 
it, it doesn't feel like it's stressing out as much as a lot of people talk about with a four cylinder engine. Especially going off the payment, we were around 2000 to 2300 for the RPM range. Going off road and even my third gen Tacoma with the V6, we would get up to three, 3500, even 4000 just because it didn't have the proper torque to be in situations like that. So with this smaller engine, we have a lot more torque, low end speed situations, and then obviously getting up to speed, it is going to help significantly. So I think the power is there. The turbo is great to have for this with that added torque. And I again, I don't see any issues with it. Only time will tell, but turbo engines have been around in sports cars for decades. So it's not new technology, it's just new for some of the truck platforms. Well, this is what it's like to be behind the wheel for the AT4X. Very nice interior, I will say, with some of these materials here. So in lower trim levels, obviously you aren't going to get that. So if you want the interior like this, obviously you have to go with this truck if you want it factory and you don't want to do anything aftermarket yourself. But it's, it's a great truck. What you are buying is all the performance, all the technology, all the capabilities with this truck. So yes, it's not a full size truck, but when you look at the market today, new for new, if you want a well-equipped uh, GMC, like 1500 ATX4, something of that, you're going to be spending $90,000, $100,000 on those trucks. So, I mean, 70 grand is still 70 grand. It's not like it was years ago when you could get full-size trucks for even less than that. So it's the way the market is going. Unfortunately, that's what we are seeing in today's world. So 70 grand, obviously you can get a mid-size truck for much less, but if you want a well-equipped, off-road, focused, and ready pickup, it is a good option to go with. I think it has a good amount of space too. I haven't had much seat time in the back seats, but it seems pretty adequate for the mid-size platform and what you would be using them for, of course. That is going to wrap it up though for the 2024 GMC Canyon 84X. Once again, check out our off-roading content as well to see how well this truck does off the pavement as today we were on the pavement, of course. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.